Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do the peel off base coat using the Elmer's Clear. Today I'll also be doing the Gel Strong Manicorn in a manicure. So this is the washable clear glue from Walmart. I've got my little cup of water and a paper plate and a little brush, a little flat brush to do some mixing with. So the first one I'm doing is full strength right out of the bottle. I'm just brushing it over the nail, trying to keep it all nice and even and smooth. It's not difficult, not having any trouble getting it on there. And there we go. Looking pretty good. Liking it so far. So now I'm just going to add a drop of water to this blob that I got out on the plate. Actually, I'm going to do two because it's kind of a big blob. <laughs> so I'm mixing it all up really well with the brush before I apply it to the nail. And I'm gonna apply that one to my pointer finger. So that's the first one that's been diluted a little bit. And I wanted to show options. I wanted to show that, you know, the clear, if you prefer clear, uh, you know, they all dry clear. So I think it's gonna be, you know, just fine if you use white or clear, either one you have on hand. But I wanted to show both. I know it's kind of silly, but you are going to get another manicure out of this one. So I am going to do another manicure. This one is a regular small drop of glue with two drops of water added to it. And that went on my middle nail. And now I'm going to do another little dot of glue. And we're going to add three drops of water to this one. Mix it all up and apply it to the nail. Now, just like the other manicure that I did like this, I did wear this manicure for a couple of days. I normally do my manicures in tandem or unison. You know, I do one on one hand and one on the other. So that's what I did with these two DIYs with the peel-offs using glue. So there we go. And then this last one's going to have uh, like maybe three drops or four drops. One, two, three, four. I had to count them and make sure I was doing it right, saying it right. I'm mixing it up and applying it to the nail, just like I've done before. I do think that this is a really cool alternative for regular peel-off base coats. And I'll be using Many Corn from the Kiss Gel Strong line in this manicure today. I love this color. It's just so pretty. It's got a brightness to it without it being neon. I really like that. Gorgeous. And the name is just super cute. So there we go with our first co coat of Manicorn. And now for a second coat. And like I've said before, these are elusive polishes. They do seem to be hard to find sometimes. But if you have another kind of lilac-y lavender looking polish it would work for this manicure for sure i'm going to top this one off with some posh top coat get it to dry down so i can do some playing <clears throat> do you have a different kind of thing to do today on my playing you'll see here real soon i've got my old stamper out and i'm going to get that imk peel ease around my nails i'll be using zoya's ziv just a beautiful gold polish and Zoya's Sailor a nice dusty blue so here we go with my old stamper I've got my oil pen out and I'm gonna crank it up and just apply a little bit of this oil across the stamper I know y'all think I'm crazy but watch then you do like strips of the polishes you could do just one color I'm going with two today and the oil kind of breaks it up kind of like making cells not really but kind of and then I'm going to stamp that directly onto the nail kind of on a diagonal it gives the manicure a really cool distressed look okay so I'm tapping out the extra onto my napkin and then taking it to the lint roller I just figured that would be the best way to do this and I'm going to immediately get this peel ease off and there we go and I'm going to do a little bit of cleanup with my cleanup brush and some acetone. 
Didn't make too bad of a mess considering what we were doing. I was pretty pleased with it. I really do love the distressed look of this. And I, when I did it for the first time, this time, I thought, wow, there are so many possibilities. So many color combinations. Oh my goodness. So you might be seeing this one again real soon on my channel. Because I really did like it. I enjoyed this. So there we go. I'm going to top it with a posh top coat. And I did wear this manicure for two days. Like I might have already said. I did wear it for two days. And it did held up really well. With all the dishwashing and vegetable chopping. So there's a little bit of footage of it in motion. Very cool. And my swatch photo. So now for the peel reveal. So this one was the full strength on my thumb. And then I've got a little bit of tip wear. But you know, nothing popped off on its own on this hand. And as you can see, the full strength version comes off pretty clean. I mean, it really did quite well. And then this is the one with the one drop of water added to the glue. And it's coming off pretty well too. This nail does have a patch on it though. It's not really a patch patch, but it's like gel polish underneath. So, you know, I don't know really how good that is for testing, but you know, I use all the nails I got. And then this one's coming off pretty good. It's kind of getting kept caught right there in the middle. I go over to the other side and get a piece going. Now, the thing about it is these aren't making like perfect peelies or anything, but it's totally working as a peel-off base coat. <clears throat> I really do think that this is a great option, especially if you don't own any of the peel-offs. This, this is something you can do at home for, you know, such a little cost. And that one popped off pretty good. So, you know, dilute it, don't dilute it. <laughs> Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.